Joe Pernice is a critically acclaimed musician and producer, and he's a member of his band, the Pernice Brothers. But he stepped out of the music spotlight to pen his first novel, It Feels So Good When I Stop. We wanted to find out from Joe whether his inspiration for writing music and writing books is connected. Okay, first, Joe, I'm interested in having you talk about what prompted you as a musician to write a novel. I thought I, I would like to, you know, write a, a, a full novel. And so that it started to brew. In terms of, in terms of the, the narrator himself, we, we know a lot about him from inter- from what he does to, you know, w- with other characters in the novel, but we don't know his name. Yeah. Obviously, that's intentional on your part, but I, want, I wondered why you came to that particular decision. Well, at first, when I first started the book, I thought of a name, and it just didn't feel right to me. I couldn't, um, it, in a way, it, uh, I, it maybe it's an experience or something, but it kind of prevented me from getting inside the person by... You know, I, I couldn't I couldn't relate to any names. And then as I as I wrote it, I uh, realized I had no name for him. And then it became a conscious uh, act to try to write it and see if there was any kind of resonance that took place from him being nameless. Having finished a novel, do you write your music differently now, or are they two separate entities still? I think they probably come from the same place. The inspiration is probably the same. Although I, you know, I don't really have the handle on that. I don't really have a direct pipeline to it, so I can't really tell you. Mm-hmm. However, the process is so different that it's hard to even compare them. For me, music writing songs is a—it's automatic for me. I don't think about it very much at all. It just kind of happens. I play almost daily now and uh i just enjoy it it's such a it's a it's a thrill you know you bang on a guitar you hit a g chord and it sounds good it feels good and the ability to come in and out of songwriting you know i can spend 20 25 minutes a half hour go away and pick it up and it's no big deal with writing the book i i was once i got myself into a habit it was a good three to four hours in a chair every day and you know, uh, it, it takes a lot of work to, you know, I found a, a big challenge was getting myself back into the headspace from the day before. I might, my mood might be completely different, and yet I still had to write a character who is a certain type of character. So getting myself into the, that mood was something I wasn't really used to doing. Mm-hmm. Music, the mood can, my mood can dictate what I'm doing that day. But when I was trying to be consistent with characters, I found having to, again, uh, get back into that headspace to be a, a, a very interesting and fun challenge. And the amount of editing and the amount of, like we were talking about, calibrating that goes on with writing a book is just, you know, it's, it's colossal, the, the amount of it, compared to writing songs. Sometimes I might write a song from start to finish in, in an hour, and it's done. End of story. Next day, new thing. So they're hard to compare, but... They, I, I would say they probably come from the same place. I don't know where else they would come from. In terms of, of your inspiration, um, talk a little bit about what inspires you as, a, as an artist, be it, be it music or, or prose. Strangely enough, I enjoy looking at you know, my, my own issues and, and running with them and see what I can make out of it. That's kind of... I mean, it's not my sole inspiration, but I've realized that more of that happens than I would have imagined before. I would say that I've been writing songs and making records for so long that it becomes a bit of a, you know, a Pavlovian thing where I just know how much fun it is. Like, I really enjoy the engagement of creating something, regardless of the subject matter, regardless of where it comes from. I enjoy making things, and so I just know that I'm going to feel good when I do it. I almost always feel better walking away from a session of working than when I sat down. That served me well with writing the book because what it took to get into that zone was often seemed like a Herculean effort to me. If, if, you, if a musician friend of yours comes up to you and says, Joe, I'm, 
I have an idea for a novel that I'd like to write. What's the piece of advice that you would give him or her? I would just say, honestly, do it. You know, um, it's that simple. It's the you just have to commit yourself to doing it and do it. And you can't really be worried about how it's perceived. I mean, I know it's hard to to keep that to separate those things, but that's another thing that has served me kind of well in in uh, in writing this book. Uh, over years from making records, I've you know I don't read press. I don't care anymore. When I was just starting out, I would read stuff and. You know, it, 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 if someone says you're a genius, then you, you buy it. If someone says you're horrible, you're, you're susceptible to all those things. I just don't want anything cluttering up the thing I'm doing. So I would tell someone just to put their head down and, and do it. Joe Pernice's book is called It Feels So Good When I Stop. And Joe Pernice, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Joe released an album based on his book, also called It Feels So Good When I Stop, and we're pleased to play a song from that album. Adele Shannon cover called I Go to Pieces. Satisfied. 